back. Um, yeah, everybody knows that I've, I've been here before and um, I had a really, really good time last time I was here. I enjoyed it. I think everything was uh, well documented and um, I moved on to, to Huddersfield. And then you look at Coventry and what they nearly achieved last season and um, all the positivity around the team and the supporters and how the supporters were with me last time I was here. And, and obviously the key to that is winning. And, and we were doing plenty of that when I was here last time. And, um, we just sort of fell away at the end of the season last season when you thought we might just go up, which would have been fantastic. Um, and then this season has been tough to watch. It's been really difficult to uh, uh, to watch. And, and I get a call on Sunday evening and want to come and help. And like that, that feeling had, had sort of lit up again. And you know, it doesn't go away. And I think that. You know, given the opportunity to come back was was too great to, to, to resist, and I think you know then you look at the the whole picture and what's been happening over the last few years and and how difficult it, it, it's been, you know, for supporters and for everybody connected with the club, and I think that that was something that motivated me to want to try and help to turn that around. Now, you know, we've got to have we've got to have unity, we've got to have trust, and these are all things that come with, over a period of time, but. We want to try and foster that and make sure that the relationships that, that are key relationships are, um, are better. And that's between the club, the supporters, the players, you know, everybody connected with it, um, first and foremost, you know, and I'm talking sort of in the wider political sense, which again, I don't really want to get too involved with because that's for other people, but I came in on the basis that we can move this forward and we have to we have to work together to move that forward. I need the tools to do the job. You know, you can't do your job unless you've got your tools. Like I was saying before, if you haven't got your uh, mobile phone, microphone, you know, you can't do your job. You can't record. And, and at the end of the day, I need the tools to be able to do that job. And it is a big job. You know, this is a different managerial job than anywhere else in the country, basically because of the political side of what's happening, but we need to find a way out. We need to find a way out for the football club and what's best for it.